Hello everybody, this is Wolf Bane, your favorite Lancer, and we're going to talk about Echo Arcana. Alright, we're with uh, Gaden, the curator for this quest. Now, when you first get this quest, you'll come to him. It is a daily quest. Now, there's four of, you got to restore four of the portions of the Echo Arcana. And I'm going to show you where all four of them are. They're pretty easy, they're pretty simple. And I'm going to tell you everything about this dungeon. Even stuff you may already know, stuff you may not know. Uh, basically where to find these and everything about the boss mechanics. Oh, and did you know in High Watch that uh, Morak in here, he can also give you the quest. It's a Vanguard quest, you can do it two times a day. And that's pretty much all you need to know about it. Uh, so let's get started, let's go ahead and find all four pieces of, and restore the uh, portion of the Echo Arcana. Okay, we're going to load up in here. We're just taking the quest straight from him. Okay, when you first appear, you'll see the uh, Echo Arcana in front of you. Just go ahead and click on it. Uh, these are rewards you get every time you finish it. You get these rewards two times a day. Now look at them. They are way worth it. So let's go ahead and speed up the video real quick. Alright, let's speed this part up real quick. And once you get to the end, there's only one way to go. And there's a cutscene. Filthy wretch! How dare you enter the ladies' chambers without permission? What is this disturbance? I'm sorry, my lady. Please, I didn't know. And yet you still found your way in. I am most displeased, Captain. Oh, my lady, mercy! Oh, but I have no mercy left to give. Alright, once you enter the chamber, you meet a sub Davian slave called Nemato, I think. Uh, they'll go ahead and have a conversation, and all of a sudden the chamber will open, and Grenanda. Gr wait. Grenade, I think that's the name. Anyways, he'll appear and start just beating the hell out of him. He only has one thing you gotta worry about, and you see these green orbs he puts on the ground. They are poisonous, they will do damage over time if you stand in them to try and avoid them. But outside of that, just smash and bash, wipe him out, finish him off, and he's done. Now, for the first of the four parts, pieces you're going to need, will be right where he came from. As you can see right here is the Beast Keeper's Journal. Now, I'm going to go ahead, and if you want to, you can pause at any time. Read this as much as you want, or just uh, go ahead and just skip through this part. Or be patient for those who do actually want to read these. Now I think these memories that were kind of echoing has to do with uh, Sayana, uh, Ribena, and Randu Randan, maybe Randan? I don't know. I'm not the best with these names, but uh, I think that it's their memories that we're going through, so we're just kind of collecting them and trying to put a picture together how this uh, Nemato got so powerful. Alright, now we'll show this in a moment uh, later on in the video the conversation was taking place here but they'll give you two different directions what I want to do is I want to run with uh, Randon or Randan Randoon <laughs> I don't fucking know but you follow him you get into an elevator the elevator will go straight up once it opens up this is very important because it's going to take you to the second part of the quest you need the hidden quest items all right follow the wall all the way to the right just remember the walls to the right the walls to the right that's it it'll take you to this guy now this is Bane Dune one second this is an annoying little dog all right so you talk to Bane Dune he'll give you the second echo and there you go all right, now keep the wall to your right. The wall to your right, okay? Just fall the way around. You cannot miss it. All right, you come up these stairs right across. When you come up, this is where your third one will be. So we're going to go ahead and just keep it sped, sped up. Whoop these guys real quick. All right. And once we meet these guys, 
and talk to uh, Cad Gon the Peddler. Let's give you a third echo. Again, pause it if you want to read it. Alright, so third echo is complete. And we'll go right across here. This is where the weapon lab is. Go ahead and speed this part up. Ain't no point. Now this is just a uh, smash and bash kind of boss here. Of course, it's like, ooh, I wonder what this button does. Pushes it, and next thing you know, you got a war crawler. That's pretty simple. The fight is, uh, as I say, it's just smash and bash. Can't have no problem with that at all. He does some weird attack patterns, but it's nothing you can't get out of. Being a lancer, I'm just gonna stay on my ground. And again, once he's dead, there's only one way to go. Be potion. <laughs> All right, and we enter the throne room. Now, there's no need to kill everything in the throne room. If you want, go for it. I'm not really gonna aggro much unless you get too close to him. Uh, one thing I noticed: uh, take out these two guards right here in the front if you want. If not, here's a mini boss. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe her out. Speed up this next part real quick. Now, when you got these archers, I think the best thing to do is hug the right side of the wall. They come together around the corner. You got both of them in one spot. Take them out. You must be very brave to seek an audience with me. So be it. You may look upon me. Now if you fall Randoon, this will be the last boss of this run. And Nia. At first it's just a regular smash and bash. A lot of her AoEs you can dodge. When you get her down to a certain amount of health, she'll summon uh, little spiders. Wipe them out, continue back to the second phase. Begins after she summons him again. And this is where Nimako, you see, goes ahead and uh, betrays your party. He was after the blood shard the whole time. All right. Now, after the cocoon, she starts second phase, she transforms, she's back up to full health. And it's the uh, same thing, bunch of AoEs. Summon more companions. And this is just a smash and bash again. There's not really uh, any mechanics you need to know about this. And once you beat her, it cuts into another cutscene.
Okay, now you run in the second time, you go through the same phase, fight the first boss. Uh, Nemato or Nemato, uh, they all have a discussion. This is what you missed when I was in there getting the book. Of course, Brandoon wants to know what's in the other door. Talk about new weapons, he wants them not to go. It's barracks, they'll kill you for sure. Of course, they don't. Princess Sayana decides that she wants to go in the opposite direction. Ribana, of course, she's just all sad and confused. So, everything is pretty simple. You can't get lost. Uh, you just follow her. You're going to come up three miles, wipe them out real quick. A little sloppy of me, but <laughs> they're dead. You'll continue walking. Now they do have a conversation uh, quite a bit. If you're really interested in the conversations, you're probably going to have to uh, kind of record it yourself. Okay. We're going to go in the next room. I'm going to speed it up because all you're going to do is just wipe out everything in this room. Just kill everybody. Okay, once they're all dead, they're going to continue. Have another little uh, discussion. Let's stop for a second. Now, once you get in this room, you come you come up to a body. You see one on the ground. You see one on the table. Click the one on the table. Alright, it says rotting corpse. You can't miss it. Just look up. Click on him, and this will be your fourth echo. So now you have all four echoes. You're done with the echoes. Uh, pretty much that phase is over. All right, and that is pretty fucking disgusting. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm actually looking at a bunch of corpses flowing down a pool of blood. All right, next part, you just go ahead and continue on the same path. There's only one direction for all these. Oh no, we forgot about this boss. So, this one's a little tricky. Okay, this is where you fight Sarikin and Maskui. Alright, once you start getting uh, Sarikin down, she runs to Masu Masuki and she'll heal every time. Let's see, down to 7%, she heals pretty quick. Smash and bash, pretty simple. Now, there is a trick to uh, Mas Masuki. You can do absolutely no damage to her once that shields up. She'll constantly keep blasting with spells. Once she gets tired and exhausted, just go ahead and just smash her with everything you got. Let's see when her shields up, you do absolutely no damage. Once she's beat, they'll have another little discussion. And we're gonna go right back up. Open cage, and the up part is right over here around the corner and we start climbing a big spiral staircase uh, once you get to the top of it you'll be back in the throne room uh, where pretty much uh, you kind of meet up with your other self walking through the throne room you don't actually meet yourself but you know what I'm saying go in the throne room and the rest of the story you know and that's everything you need to know about the Echoes of Castle Arena. Just go ahead and uh, turn in the quest. Get these beautiful rewards two times a day. And I hope that helped you. So I'll see you on the next run and the next dungeon. Peace.